Hi there, I'm Takaya Larson, Instructor of History at Selkirk College, and I'm here with your Selkirk College History Minute. Historically, colleges and universities around the world have provided a safe space for students and community members to become educated and express themselves, both in support of new ideas and in protest of others. There have been many such protests held at Selkirk College over the past 50 years, but few people know that Selkirk had a connection with the beginnings of the international environmental group Greenpeace. That connection came when Selkirk students and local community members took part in a nationwide protest against nuclear testing in Alaska. On October 1, 1969, due to the coordinated efforts of protesters, the international border between Canada and the U.S. was shut down at several locations for the first time since the War of 1812. That day, Selkirk College students and community supporters took part and shut down the Patterson border near Rosalind. Although their efforts did not successfully prevent the test, the Greenpeace movement was born, being named after one of the boats that sailed from Vancouver to Alaska to protest the bomb. Further, within a year of the event, the Amchitka nuclear testing site was abandoned by the U.S. government. One community member who attended the protest has applauded the efforts of Selkirk College in providing a place where dissident voices can be heard, disparate groups can connect, and contentious issues can be discussed. He feels this has truly been the legacy of Selkirk College.